Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to enable HTTP2 on your VPS server with us here at NameHero. So HTTP2 is a replacement for HTTP, how it used to be, and basically it's a lot faster. When you connect your websites to HTTP2, uh, the way it handles requests to HTTP is extremely efficient, and the, the jump to come to HTTP2 has qu taken quite some time, and now we are there. And so the next jump to HTTP3 is not gonna be as long as the jump was to HTTP2. But with that said, this now is stock and default on every VPS built at Name Hero. If you want to have HTTP2, it's extremely easy to enable, and that's what I'm going to show you in this video tutorial. So this is um, HTTP2's um, GitHub page. Feel free to go there and check it out if you want to read a little bit more about it. I don't really want to explain all the specifics in this video, um, but there's definitely um, you know a lot of technical background on how the connections are actually handled um, when you're looking at calling um, HTTP2 connections versus regular HTTP but you will see an increase in speed, which anything we can do to increase speed, we always want to do. So we have the fastest server online. Uh, I've been working online for 20 years. Um, ever since 1998, I've been looking for ways to make my websites faster. So each year, it seems like there's more and more stuff that we're doing um, that makes us a lot faster. So um, here's our VPS hosting packages at Name Hero. Um, we're adding to and modifying these at all it's all the time. So when you watch this video, things they we might have a little bit different configurations available. Um, but we consider ourselves some of the best priced and highest speed VPSs on the market today in the entire web hosting industry. Um, and also the fact that we package um, HTTP2 um, now default um, or package it with our um, VPSs by default um, really sets us apart from a lot of the companies competitors out there. So let's go into our client area and let me show you how to enable this. So once I'm inside my client area here at Name Hero, I'm going to click on Cloud Web Hosting. I'm going to enable this on my um, Hero 4 Gigabyte server. So I'm going to click on Hero 4 Gigabyte. I'm going to scroll down and get my um, password for Web Host Manager. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go down here and click on Web Host Manager. I'm going to log in. I'm going to log in here. And now I'm looking for Easy Apache 4. Is it Easy Apache or Easy Apache, however you say it. Easy Apache 4. And when we click in here, we'll be able to configure that and get it up and going. Now, Easy Apache 3 was not near as fast as Easy Apache 4. So um, if you're using an older version of Web Host Manager, maybe you're using a VPS here at Name Hero or somewhere else, if you upgrade Web Host Manager to and get the Easy Apache 4, then you're going to have this in there. And it makes it so much easier, especially with the PHP FPM. I don't see why you wouldn't upgrade um, to it. Unfortunately, a lot of our competitors, were not. they haven't made that jump yet. So, um, you know, we definitely have here at Name Hero. So you can see currently installed packages, Apache 2.4, PHP 5.4, 5.5, 5.6, 7.0, and 7.1. So we're going to click on Customize. And when we get there, it takes a second for it all to load up. And then we'll have the option to add in our HTTP2. Um, so we can see here we've got our... Um, our, uh, our different Apache NPMs. And so we can add any of this stuff that we want to. Um, this can go through next. And Apache modules, this is where we are gonna do it. So we're gonna search for HTTP2. And you can see mod HTTP2. We're going to enable it. We're gonna to go to next. And we can go here and, and select our PHP versions. If we wanna add 7.2, we can. It is now available. Click next. And these are all of our PHP extensions. And you can filter these by uh, the version of PHP that you're looking for to make sure you get everything. Uh, there's 311 items in here, so we can sort our page size. Or specifically, if we're looking for something, we can type it inside of here um, and add it. I'm not going to go through all of those now, but it's pretty self-explanatory if you, um, you are familiar with PHP extensions. I'm going to click Next. Next, I've got my Ruby stuff. I really like um, the the new version of Ruby inside of Web Host Manager. It really came a long way than how we used to have to manage Ruby with um, cPanel and Web Host Manager just a couple versions ago. So it makes it very, very nice. So if you're using Ruby to develop, um, this is where you go to configure that. Go to Next. So now we're going to review everything. I'm just going to just take it a second here while it pulls all of this up. But they've, in my opinion, I can't be, I could not be happier with the direction that cPanel and Web Host Manager are going with their software. I really feel confident, and I'm not just saying that being CEO and founder here at Name Hero, I just feel confident with them as a company as a whole. And we're so proud to have a great partnership with them. And 
Um, we had the um, opportunity last month to attend their cPanel conference in Fort Lauderdale, and we got to meet and talk with a lot of the cPanel team. And um, so the direction they're taking the company is just very impressive, and they've stayed true, um, you know, to their developmental roots for the last um, two decades. And so we're very proud of that partnership. And which is great for you, the customer, um, because so many control panels have came and gone over the last uh, two decades. It's nice to see one that's really stuck with it and can you go in. So now we're just going to review everything that we've done. Um, the big one here is the mod HTTP2. It is there. Um, we did add PHP 7.2, so those are going to be built into here. Um, our packages, um, these are not going to be affected because these are already installed. And so we can save this profile if we want. Um, we can go through and just enter this information if we want to save this as a profile for later on. Maybe we could save it as, um, you know, as HTTP2. I'm not going to for this example. And then we're just going to click provision, and then the process gets started. Uh, so that's pretty much, you know, all there is to it. I'll let this sit here and run. I'm not sure how long this, this might take, just a little bit, since I did add the um, 7.2. It might take a little bit um, for it to provision on. But really, that's all there is to adding HTTP2 to your server. It's not like it's this big, drawn-out process of where there's a lot of configuration you have to do um, to get it on your on your server. Um, and you can see it's already finished. Love Easy Apache 4. So click Done. And so now we're we're off to the races. We're all set now um, to have HTTP2 on our websites, and we will see a performance boost. Um, the way it handles those connections is just so much more efficient um, in the way it does that. And, and your, your pages and, and resources will load a lot quicker now um, for you and all of your traffic. So that's how it's done. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know. Our support team's here 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can give us a call or shoot us a live chat or a ticket. If you want us to enable it for you, we will, we're more than happy to log into your VPS and do that um, as well. So enjoy the faster speed. Enjoy HTTP2 on your VPS at namehero.com.